Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing out a video, and today we are covering the Delta SR25 EMC, or the Enhanced Military Carbine, or Carbine, depending which side of the pond you're from. So, we'll go ahead and break this thing down, go into a couple different builds of this that I have, and then I have some multiplayer gameplay here for you guys to show this thing off. Definitely looking forward to using this in DMZ, this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and we'll back out. Here's one of the versions that we'll be seeing here in some of the gameplay today. So backing out, we'll go through these uh, one by one here. So the first one that I have, this is kind of my one of my more favorite ones. They're all equally pretty equal, but I think I had a little bit better success with this one. So for this one, what you're going to want... Now the EMC, or the Enhanced Military Carbine, for the SR-25 typically comes in a 16-inch barrel, which we have one of those builds too. But this one, 12.5, um, also would be available and I just love the way this looks. You get the customized handguard. So let's go ahead really quick and we'll just select the base uh, SR25 and build this thing up. And then, then we'll just go through the other builds without really building them. Because they're going to be relatively similar. So first off, what you want to do for the build is go with the 12.5 Rugged ZN. This is going to give you aim down sight speed, hip recoil control, and the movement speed. With the cons being damage range, hip fire accuracy, bullet velocity, and the recoil control. But again, this is a 7.62 by 51 millimeter round so the range really is still going to be very very good as you'll see in the uh gameplay which is true to real life exactly what the purpose of this weapon was so like i said typically the carbines or the carbines are going to be 16 inch um but they also are available you can get them at 12.5 very limited limited edition so this one i'm going to run the the 12.5 with the uh the uh urx handguard go ahead and just tune this to damage at range and recoil steadiness Next up for the laser, I'm going to run the Ollie V, or I've really been enjoying the uh, the uh, Laz 44 as well with that green laser, really good too. But we'll run the Ollie V here uh, because of the uh, sprint to fire speed on this thing. Dust Devil is, is my go-to for this one. I'm going to leave the stats the same for this. For the optic here, we'll go ahead and we're going to go with the Ares Clear Shot. This will give you the 7 to the uh, top canted mounted uh, RMR, so we'll go ahead and select that. Small sniper clip, aim down sight speed, aim walking movement speed, but again, we're mitigating all that pretty much with the laser, so we'll select that, tune it all the way to far, leave the buttstock, skip the guard because we we don't even have an option for guard because of that shorter barrel, it locks you into that guard. Grip, we'll go ahead and skip. Magazine, we can skip. Uh, for the underbarrel attachment, I'm going to be running on this particular build that you'll see in some of the gameplay. Uh, we'll run the pineapple. So we'll run the pineapple grip, tune it to aim down sight speed, and hip recoil control. And then for the muzzle device, I'm going to run the uh, Bore 490. It is very, very good on these larger 7.62 weapons. So it's going to help with the horizontal recoil control primarily, and then the vertical with the cons. Again, ADS speed and um, aiming stability. But we have the laser on there, so that should, again, completely negate that. So um, tune that to gun kick and recoil stabilization. Here it is in black. So again, it looks really clean in black. Now, I am going to a lot of these Delta uh, ones came in the, I believe it was, it's in real life flat earth. So we'll go ahead with the clay, select that. Looks nice and clean. You can also see what the mastery would look like on that. That actually looks really, really nice for this, uh, this one with the suppressor kills. So that looks really clean. Here's the final design for one of these builds. Again, this is the Delta SR25 EMC, or Enhanced Military Carbine. Just looks really, really clean. You'll see the, you'll see some of the, you'll see this, these all in action in the gameplay, so I'm not going to jump into the firing range with this, but you can see, really clean weapon. I really like the Canted Mounted RMR on this. It, it just works really, really well with this build, especially with the laser. Really helps you out, and... Um, Again, I swapped the laser. I put the laser on instead of what you'll see on this other build. And, uh, I had a 30-round mag on this just for a little bit better uh, sprint to fire speed in the in the CQC. So this one, relatively same build. However, I swapped out the Bore 490 with the Lieber 55. Again, it's still giving us relatively the same. You can't see any statistical difference on the, the bar charts there. But uh, just trying to switch it up. They're both relatively the same, so I, I went with the Lieber. Same pros and cons. Again, tune this thing to gun kick, recoil stabilization. Again, we're running the 12.5, so we'll go with damage range, recoil steadiness. Um, now, this one, the Vigilant 30C Iron. So this is an 8 times optic with a canted mounted iron sights on this thing. So same pros and cons 
as the uh, areas clear shot. However, we get a little bit more magnification, and then we have to rely on the iron sights, which I actually really like. However, you'll see the iron sights a little bit more difficult to engage longer range targets versus the areas clear shot with that canted mounted optic, but it's definitely doable. I had some very, very good engagements with this thing, so it definitely works. Um, and a lot of fun to use, very rewarding. This one, we're swapping in the 30 round magazine of the 762 by 51 millimeters, so we're gonna get uh, the extra 10 rounds versus the base 20, and then you can see some th some uh, negatives to the movement speed, ADS speed, reloads, front to fire. And then I'm going to run the Hex 40 for this one instead of the uh, Pineapple. But you can feel free to switch them out there. They're all relatively similar, but I, I do like the Hex 40 works really well on this one too. So here's the final design for this one. SR25 EMC. This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it in black. I think it just looks, it looks nice and clean and black like that. Really good. So this one, I actually had a lot of fun with those 30 rounds. Uh, I felt relatively unstoppable in close quarter situations. So a lot of fun to use this thing. That's that one. Now one more here we're going to run uh, is another EMC build. This with the this time with the correct uh, barrel length. So there's a few different things you could do with this. I'll, I'll show you guys. So obviously we put in instead of the 12.5, we swapped over to the 16 inch uh, barrel here. So you're going to get the aimed at sight speed and the hip recoil control as pros versus uh, you can see here you're going to get essentially the same plus the uh, plus the hip, the uh, excuse me, the movement speed. And then with damage range, hip accuracy, and bullet velocity goes down. But still, these two perform, it's not too much of a difference to be honest. But uh, the 16 inch, true to form for the, the regular carbine, so go ahead and select that. Uh, the old EV, again selecting the uh, tan one this one to go into soro 7 or you could also just run the uh the aim point on there also looks very very clean so you can see tune that out so far and then running the operator foregrip on this one with one of my uh blueprint options for the tannonized build and then i'm running a m4 bus like now if you guys cannot for multiplayer this is obviously private matches where i'm building this but you can still do this in multiplayer you just need to select the receiver Go to the M4. I can't do it right now because I have an M4 as a secondary. But select the M4. Put the buttstock on that you want on the SR25. And then put you're going to put that buttstock on the M4 when you have the M4 selected. And then reselect the receiver back to Tempest Torres. So in multiplayer, I would not be able to select this. I need to go to the receiver. go to my, Select the M4. Put the buttstock I want on the M4. And then switch the receiver back to the Tempest Tour of the SR25, and it will be there. That's how you do it in multiplayer. It works. Um, go ahead and try that if you're having any uh, trouble still, because I don't think they fixed it. So that's how you do it. Um, and here, just so you guys can see, I'll just do it here for a... Um, let's back out. I want to show you guys just in case people are going to be having trouble. So here we go. Just do this. Uh, we'll go Tempest Marksman Rifle. Tempest Torret, here it is. So here, stocks, right? I can't select anything, so I need to go to my receiver. M4, stock. Um, I can select, let's do like this. Back to my receiver, boom, there it is. So that's how you do it. It'll it'll bring it over that way. It's still bugged, I don't know. Uh, they still haven't fixed it, so who knows when that's gonna happen, but that's the workaround for that. Back to the, uh, to the build here. So again, we're running the aim op. Then we have the M4 buttstock here for sprint to fire speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement, aim down sight speed. Cons are recoil and aim stability. And then uh, that's it. Then the operator foregrip. Now you could obviously swap this out, the buttstock out, and use something like a uh, muzzle device or even the third round magazine again would look really clean. We'll go ahead and just look at the gun range with this one because I didn't, I don't have gameplay with this particular one. But this thing, you can see, just definitely a lot of fun and pretty accurate. So just a really nice looking build here. This one, I think, would be a lot of fun to run, too. And we're running the the, uh, the M-Lock handguard on this thing, the base one. You could you could also, one thing you could do is swap out, use the base, uh, the base butt stock, the salt my butt stock. And then for the guard, you can go ahead and select... Um, any of these ones ideally you would want the h the tt hg 40 or or this one both these would be fine but this one's going to give you the hg 40 is going to give you a little bit more recoil steadiness on this so if you were to select that 
you can tune it that way. It's going to give you more of the, the correct uh, URX handguard that these came with for the EMC models. So that looks that looks much more uh, true to form. We can go ahead and just jump in with that one more time. You can see here, nice. I love I love the the handguard swaps. This is great. I hope this is something they go back and add to some of the other weapons. I think it would be a really cool addition to the game. You can see, just a beast. And I love it when you empty the magazine. You get the, the flick here. Go ahead and empty that little flick. Awesome. Good to go. Sweet. Love the reload animation there. Really, really clean. So, jumping into the gameplay here, you'll see some uh, different variety of gameplay on um, with with a lot of the all well all, almost all these builds besides the one I just showed off. Easy for me to say. Um, but again, just running these a little bit of multiplayer gameplay here. Nothing crazy. Um, was a little hard. My lobbies. I ran into a couple cheaters and some, so that kind of ruined it for me. But uh, did have some really good games. And uh, also, unfortunately, the the COD curse getting on the teams that don't don't help out with any objective capture. And so I, I probably should have played a little smarter and not tried to cap objectives, but uh, I couldn't help myself. So I, I barely went positive in a few of these, usually like five or six positive. But uh, if you're, you have a good team, I mean, this weapon, it's not the weapon's fault. The weapon itself is just a freaking animal. Uh, it just comes down to luck of the draw, the game mode, and the teams. But a lot of fun to use. You'll see in the gameplay, very, very effective. Just definitely need to modify your playstyle because you can't rip full auto. What I was running was a Glock 18 on sling with a fast draw. It seemed to work really, really well for the, the closer quarter situations where I needed to uh, quickly have more rounds and faster rate of fire. I had the Glock 18, so it worked really well. Um, again, we did the SR25 video yesterday. I'll probably do a few more of these conversions and then do an all builds video. But the SR25, we went over this in yesterday's or the other video the other day for the SR25. Go ahead and check that out also. Um, but a quick brief overview of the SR25. We go into much more in-depth detail in the last video. Um, so go ahead and look at that. But again, SR25, Stoner Rifle 25, in service from the 1990 through present. It's seen uh, action in, in Afghanistan War, Iraq War, Operation Enduring Freedom, and uh, many others since its time as uh, being adopted. The designer is Eugene Stoner. Again, Stoner Rifle 25, Eugene Stoner. He merged with... Uh, Knight's Company out of Florida, and Knight's Armor Company then created the SR-25 as the modified, basically the enhanced original concept of the AR-10 that uh, Eugene Stoner came up with originally. So, a couple different variants for this weapon, like we talked about, but this one obviously is the EMC, the Enhanced Military Carbine, or you could even call it the Enhanced Match Carbine with a 16-inch barrel, also available in the 12.5 and very limited edition upon request. The mass for this weapon is going to come in for the carbine around 7.5 pounds or 3.4 kilograms. The barrel length, again, like we discussed, is going to be for this one, uh, 16 or 12.5 with the overall length uh, varying based on the build. And the cartridge is at 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO with the action being a gas-operated rotating bolt, semi-automatic. However, in real life, the, the SR-25s do have the ability to go full auto, so... Keep that in mind. We unfortunately don't have that available here in game, but uh, some of the variants do have full auto capability, which uh, would be would have been a little bit overpowered, I I, I would say, uh, if it were here for this. But that that would more serve like a, the purpose of a battle rifle here in the game. But that would be a lot of fun. The kick would have to be crazy though if you put it on a marksman rifle. Uh, but that would have been cool. Feed system is a 10 to 20 round detachable box magazine. Theoretically, I suppose you could maybe fit a 50 round. Drill, I'm not sure who would make it. Uh, you're definitely not fitting like an FN in there, but um, I'm sure some company out there does make the 50 round drum, which we're seeing here in the game. So that's pretty cool. Another Delta version, the EMCs here. Delta is really the guys that push this rifle to begin with. And SR25 is the civil, pretty much the civilian variant of this. Um, Delta Force really liked it. They were pushing for this. They were using it themselves. And uh, basically the EMC, the Enhanced Mash Carbine or the Military Carbine, came into fruition because... You have a powered, powerful round being a 7.62 by 51, which can, again, engage longer distances. However, a lot of these guys um, clearing CQC, if you're running SR-25, needed something that they could do both with. So in, uh, engage targets at closer quarters and use, using that powerful big 7.62 cartridge to reach further out when needed. So that's really where this, this whole concept came from. Um, and it's a great concept. And again, the SR-25 having the ability to go full auto as a last resort 
um, definitely would come in handy. The, the round itself, even though the barrel is shorter at 16 inches or the 12.5 here, um, is still going to reach out uh, a long, longer distance than, than most rifles will because of the 7.62 by 51 millimeter round. It also depends on the grainage of the cartridge being used, if it's an M M80, M81, etc. So uh, how much, how much, what the grain is uh, will affect how far it travels and how fast. So really cool weapon. I love this thing. It is a lot of fun to use. It is available on the civilian market for a hefty price. I think some of them were selling around over 10, 10 grand. Obviously, you can't get them in full auto on the civilian market. I don't think it depends on the states. But let me know your thoughts on this weapon down below. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot in uh, DMZ. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Kind of use this as my primary. The only problem is you are running sniper ammo, so you you tend to burn through ammo uh, quickly, which it, it ends up being a bit of a problem in DMZ. So everyone's got to bring ammo boxes, and you're going to have to replenish your ammo constantly. But again, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Social media links, everything like that is down below in the description. We have Twitch, Instagram, Discord, um, Twitter. All of that's down there for you guys. Join up in the community. You guys can shoot me messages over there as well. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Delta SR25 EMC, the Enhanced Military Carbine, or the Enhanced Match Carbine. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out. UAV is orbiting the area.